Hello, hello friends, it's Deborah Driver here. Welcome back to another theme deck corner. Today we're going to be going over Battle Mind. And we're going to get started in just one moment. Like I said, everybody, hello a lot. Today we're going to be looking at this Mewtwo theme deck that came out in Unbroken Bonds. Has the ability Mind Report when this. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may put a supporter card from the discard pile to the top of your deck. Very useful, especially in this deck when you want to kind of use a welder every single turn. Psy Shock's a pretty decent attack. Um, damage isn't affected by effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, so if they have like a protection effect, you can kind of just go right through it, which is very useful. It also hits for weakness um, against Psychic types, against itself, against Necrozma. Uh, popular theme decks that are out as well. Um, so I find it to be very useful in this format. And you get two of those in this deck. This deck's pretty well built. Um, I think generally you end up starting off with like Catterday. You want to get start with a Meowth and collect two cards. Or Litten does the same thing but it only draws one card. So you try to want to start out with Catterday, draw cards. It's generally how most theme decks seem to be a centered around these days where you you have one pokemon that you kind of want to start with <clears throat> that draws you cards to get set up um with that you have one of your big attackers in turtonator from dragon majesty explosive jet does 50 damage for each uh, fire energy card you discard um and this is from any of your pokemon so it's a very powerful attack and you don't have to get them off of Turtonator. You can power up things on the bench and then Explosive Jet and discard those. So as long as you have three Fire Energies on Turtonator, you can use this attack. And you can discard all three Fire Energies to hit for 150, 200, 250. The numbers are kind of endless with Turtonator, but his 110 HP kind of keeps it low to be able to use. Welder does make it possible to use it though because you can attach for turn one turn. And then Welder to get the other two energies on him. And he's set up in one turn to hit 150. So Turtonator is very strong and powerful. And kind of can take out anything that is thrown at him. Uh, in this deck they have a uh, <clears throat> the secondary line of Daruma and Darumanitan. Or Darumaka, sorry. Uh, with Flame Charge, search your deck for a fire energy. Attach it to this Pokemon and shuffle your deck. Good way to get some fire energies out. You can get three out with... Um, with uh, Darmanitan though, search three fire energies, reveal them, put them into your hand, which can perfectly set up your welder turn as well. And then Flare Blitz does a basic 110 with uh, discard all fire energy from it, and you can kind of knock out a lot of different things, a lot of uh, stage ones with that number. It's a pretty, uh, a lot of things at that number, so it's pretty easy to hit it. I think even Zapdos is at that number and stuff. Um, the other line in this is a Litten, Cat, Incineroar. Now you play this for this strong cheer ability. It makes your attacks do 30 more damage. Now, as you saw with the 110, if you get 30 more damage on that, that's 140. That's enough to knock out other ones as well as, you know, the 110's enough to knock out Turtonator. But uh, it, it makes it where you can get stuff a little quicker there. Um, other than that, I think Litten is mostly in here just to evolve. But Big Bite is a strong attack as well. 60 damage and your opponent can't retreat. So if you do end up getting 3 energies on him, it's not terrible. But you gotta watch out because it could probably easily be knocked out as well. So I think you have 2 of these in there to be able to strong cheer. Get it up multiple times. Um, and it's just a strong one. Uh, you can't apply more than 1 strong cheer ability at a time though. So these do not stack. But having that 30 extra damage has always been relevant in certain matchups. And then you move on to your draw support. Salazzle, Roast Reveal. You discard a fire energy from your hand. If you do, draw three cards. Very powerful effect. And you play 20 fire energies. So it's pretty easy to use Salazzle as your really your only draw uh, engine. You end up with huge hands off of Salazzle, especially if you get both of them set up. And uh, that's the idea behind it. You want to get both of them set up and just go. Um, and then we go back to Mewtwo. And that's all the Pokemon. Uh, the the uh, trainers is actually very light in this. Because they did this 3-2 uh, Salazzle line, you end up having 24 Pokemon and only 16 trainers, which is different than most theme decks. Most theme decks, they always have 20-20-20. They keep it pretty simple, 20-20-20. So you have 
a variety of Pokemon to use, a variety of trainers to use, and a bunch of the same energy. Um, also, the thing to note with this is that it does have a split. A split of 15 Fire and 5 Psychic. Which is a more reasonable split in most cases. Um, in a... I don't know. I don't want to say a pro deck, but in a, like a, a more uh, defined, refined, more refined deck of this, you might see three psychic and ten fire. But so it's like a similar thing to see the the same similar ratio, which I like to see. But as for trainers, you got two switches, two Cynthia's, which is a good trainer, uh, two fishermen, I believe. Yeah, they have two fishermen in here because you're going to be discarding a lot of fire energy with Salazzle. They got four how, so you can get that big draws off of it. A two lily, so this deck is all very, very good. Gives you very good supporters to take you through the next season. Lilies, uh, Cynthia's, um, maybe not so much Looker, but the two welder are very strong. Fire is become the new double colorless energy. So you see a lot of decks playing welder as their draw support attaching those two fires drawing those three cards it's basically how with a two energy attachment and it's a phenomenal card and people are loving it and you get two of them in this deck so it's very strong very strong base deck to get you get a very good uh base for almost any deck um you can switch in whatever pokemon works the best for you a lot of people are going to throw in gx's Obviously, the first to cut's probably going to be Darmanitan. There's a Volcanion from the same set that does something similar that is very good and would only take up two slots rather than the five that it is currently taking. Um, if you put up putting a bunch of GXs in here, you know, this Meowth can all of a sudden become a Persian, and when that GX gets knocked out, you can search for whatever card you want in your deck, um, things like that. So there's definitely ways to update this deck and uh, turn it into something very viable. Um, obviously, Turtonator is always good. Uh, the stronger version of this is generally Blacephalon GX because it has that extra 70 HP and those extra few attacks. But uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and exit out of this. Go ahead and go over here to the versus ladder and go ahead and try out the Battle Mind theme deck. Let's go over here. We gotta find Battle Mind. Uh, Bolt. Battle Mind. There we go. Psychic. Uh, Dragon Fire. Yeah, all of that. Battle Mind, the Mewtwo theme deck. We're gonna go ahead and check it out. See how it plays out in three games. In three consecutive games, I might add. I don't really edit. I don't really, uh, I edit, but I, re I really prefer to, like, Play it right out. So here we are facing the Charizard deck, which is a deck that would really do well with this Welder supporter that we have. I really find that if you combine these two decks together, it can be very powerful. Really, the only thing it's missing from that is like a Jirachi to be able to grab your supporters quickly. However, it's a good start to a deck. Uh, looks like we do start with our little Meowth for Catterday here. So we can Catterday until Meowth kind of gets knocked out and see if we can get set up faster than this uh, than this Charizard. And I believe we can because we do have like that turn one Welder. Oh, we know what's in his deck. We don't need to go through the Mulligans. Usually you go through the Mulligans to see like what, what your opponent's playing. But we don't really have that issue because we know it's Charizard theme deck. Um, never turn down extra cards. Cool, we can get a Litten Evolved turn two. I don't mind that at all. I actually think I'm going to hold the Welder. I believe Charizard has no cards that are going to shuffle up my hand. No ends or reset stamps in this format at least. So my Welder with the two fire energies is very safe in my hand. I think this turn we just go ahead and go for a looker. See what else we can grab. And that's a perfect grab. Turtonator. We can welder next turn and just kind of punish whatever they throw in the active. Literally, if I wouldn't attach that, I had I had game. I had game if I had not attached that to that already. Because I would have been able to welder, attach, switch, blow it up. 
So this actually has like a really good quick start with that welder supporter. Allows you to get three energies down turn one and if you attack second, that can literally win the game for you. Wow, three Torah cats. Where do you ever see three Torah cats? That's a lot of cats. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out their far fetched. Now I don't really want to use Turtonator now because it can um That can kinda hinder me, I think, because due to the fact that I'd have to get rid of half my energy just to get rid of it. It's not ideal. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a fire energy on it though. And uh, we're just going to cat her day here. It actually looks like Tail Whip does 30 damage. So if I do get a uh, if I do get a Incineroar up, this can do hit for 60 for 2 energy. And that's going to be very strong at this beginning part of this game. Not quite enough to get knockouts, but very strong nonetheless. So unfortunately, I think the Cynthia's and stuff are working better for him than me. Uh, we had the chance for that first turn knockout, and we're kind of slowly fading now that, that we didn't take it. I still feel like I want to hold the welder, though. Kind of want to see what else I can get for an attacker. And I don't, I'm not getting an attacker. I just keep getting fire energy. Hmm. I think I'll attach here and I'll just keep catterdaying. Keep going to sleep. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to go in with uh with Tartanator here. If I do end up pulling a Mewtwo, I'm gonna use Welder and then put Welder back on the top of my deck so it continues to kind of function that way. Man, that was a nice copycat. Very nice copycat. They can finally get their Charmeleon, maybe their Needle Queen. That was a good copycat. Yeah, they got their Nita Queen, and now they can just kind of set up. So we gotta watch out. We might have to bait them into attacking first, just so that we can knock out these big things. But maybe what I'll do here, since this deck doesn't have any ball search, it only has his draw cards. Um, I may have to start tail whapping. Because my tail whap can take them out before they take me out. And there we go. Now the tail wrap is more strong. It's stronger now. Um, and I could Cynthia, I could Lily, but I think I'm just gonna how. So I'm not quite ready. Ooh, there we go. Now we can finally start drawing more. Now that we have a Salazzle down, we have more things we can do. And actually, do you just knock it out? You need one more energy. So I can't do that just yet. Hmm. Okay, okay. But we can here, Roast Reveal. Draw three more cards. It's like, there's nothing really I'm wanting to play. I guess I do that. If I do that, where does that leave me? I hit for 90. And then I have Turtonator to blow stuff up. Hmm, is that what I want to do though? I guess that's where we're kind of heading down. Is if we can get that other one, then we're set. And we'll tail wrap for 60. They'll hit us for 20, we'll hit for another 60. By that time, we can get these other two energies back down. And they may or may not be able to set up Nido Queen. So see, this is where like Welder would be phenomenal in the Charizard deck because Nido Queen could use it, Charizard can use it. It's a very well versatile card in that deck, more so than this one. So honestly, I would replace either Copycat or House with Welders in that deck, and it would probably run ten times better. Oof, they got it. They got the tails though, so we do need to go for this knockout. And we're going to discard our bench to do so, I think. 
So we'll go ahead and load up this guy. Toss this here. Get the others to lazzle. This is slightly not enough damage. So we do have to go with this, unfortunately, and we hit for 130. I almost need to find a, uh... see, I trust that they're going to knock this out. Yeah, they're going to knock this out. So it's best to just discard the two off the active. I guess I could have did this. Maybe the safer play was one off the active and one off the bench, but I know Salazzle can attack next turn if I'm knocked out. Which is where this is. Which is why I feel like having the two off of there is fine. So I do have a switch at least. So I kind of what I need to do is top deck a welder, and then play a Mewtwo, which is not what happened. But uh, with this. We can roast reveal here. Kind of find whatever we really want. There's our welder. But I think we're going to try to take this out with something else. He has 20. So we're just going to flop here. And then we can welder here and get that onto a Turtonator. Oof. They said no thanks. I guess that, that flop would have put me in the lead. Flop for 40. Very strong attack. Very strong. Or maybe I'm just thinking too much and my opponent's just like, I'm done. There we go, we beat a Charizard deck. Let's see what else we can face off against here with the Battle Mind. And we're facing another Charizard deck. What's up with the Charizard deck being popular tonight? It's very funny. We won the coin flip and we want to go second. This is theme deck format, so Having that extra draw or something can just be very helpful. Grass fire. At least we do have a hand that's very strong lily. It's a very strong lily, turn one here. And I'm pretty sure I can just go put both of these turtonators down. Uh, toss down a fire energy to get a big lily. The only problem with that is if I do get a drawler, um, I can't really do much about it. Hmm. Yeah, so I can't really... Grass Fire is only going to do 10 damage. Get two Fire Energies. I honestly think I put this here for a Retreat, and I Lily for five. <laughs> Five cards that don't help me. Okay. Uh, so, Salazzle can take a hit here. Um, all we can hope for is next turn getting the Evolve form, and then our deck can start to flow from there. But not starting Catter Day is kind of a little rough. Especially since Tora Cats just seem to love to be in my hand. It's like I have cat fingers. And no thumbs. Cat fingers, no thumbs. Timer ball. What are they searching for? They can't. They might be able to evolve. They can evolve into Rapid Dash and they can try to do agility here. Not this turn, obviously, because it could. Uh, they can hit it for 20 and then agility to for the knockout, which is a little bit better for them. But collect is also a good option so that they can just get more cards. We get a Mewtwo. I don't love that. I 
Not sure if I want to how or that. Okay, so this sets up this. And I definitely don't want to howl next turn. I want to welder, and then once I welder, then I can bump back. But 60 is not gonna. I think Salazzle is safe for one more turn here. I kind of wish I would have thrown down the fire turn one now, but it's fine. So you got the agility set up. Or they can continue uh, attacking with collect because there's not much they I can really do right now. No way I can pull up this, and no way that's shown that I can take out the far fetched. Copycat, that's a smart copycat. I know I keep falling for that one, but I like the state of my hand, so I'm not upset about it. I know it puts them in a better position. But as long as they get tails, I'm in a very good position, so. And they get heads, which means they're protected turn for this turn. Um, which sucks a little. I'm going to go ahead and welder, though. We're going to get these energies down here on this other turtonator. And we're probably going to attack with Catterday. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and throw that welder back on the top of my deck. There we go. And we keep waking up. So I still feel like that was the best option. That way I could draw two extra cards. I got kind of everything I really wanted out of that. We can definitely welder this next turn and have two Turtonators set up. Which is a lot further than they are. Their move has to be like evolve these Charmanders. But they're gonna probably try to stay on the back of agility as long as they can. So what's my move on this one? It's Mewtwo. Mewtwo is my my play here. Let me salazzle. Do a little roast reveal. Which is unfortunate. I kind of wanted to get... Kind of wanted to get a psychic energy there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting that psychic energy unfortunately. So we'll see if they hit us here. I'm gonna give them a turn to hit me. And then we can evolve Tor Cat finally after we have three three cat fingers. You're looking for that psychic energy. It's probably kind of bad that we threw away two of them. Because if we hadn't, we would have been able to hit for 70 through agility. Because it's an effect on that Pokemon. They're going to copycat? Do you have all those cards and you can't evolve anything? No Charmeleons? No Nidorans? That's strange. All those cards and none of that stuff. Wow. They might be trying to do the Rapidash game in this one. Man, they're getting that heads like craziness. Um, so we'll go ahead and evolve that. None of these other cards are really want. We're going to go ahead and Verse Reveal. Did not get what we wanted. 21 cards. What's better, one and seven, or six and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or six and thirty? 
one fifth, I think, is the six and thirty, right? We see one fifth of our deck versus one seventh of our deck. So I think we're gonna Cynthia. If I'm playing the odds right, I might be entirely wrong. People can tell me that in the comment section if I am. Um, I do need to retreat this Mewtwo though because it's almost dead. So I guess I'll have to do just that. It's kind of my only hope when they end up doing this well with the uh, with the coin flips. So unfortunately, I need like another welder to pull that off again. But I don't know. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hard comeback here. They don't have anything evolved, but they have the energy down that they need. So they do have a lot going for them. We are drawing through our deck just slightly better, but that is the power of Salazzle. We still have two Turtonators that are powered up, so if they do get Tails... Uh, it doesn't exactly work either. They're not quite powered up. I'd have to get a Switch now to be able to pull it off. But this Rapidash so far has had three heads. And now they go for a Searing Flame instead. Oh, I guess they were hoping for that burn to do the effects. I think I'm just going to do that. This actually might be a good moment for a strong Lily. So I can Lily for three, which is the same effect as Hal. And I do get that Psychic Energy. I need to see if I can get the welder though. Nope, no welder. But we can grass fire for 40. Which means with Turtonator, when they knock this out with Turtonator, if they don't use agility and flip heads, I can knock it out for one energy. Because 50 plus the 30 will equal 80 and knock it out. But they are powering up a Needle Queen. And they flip a heads. What's my move with that? Honestly, I guess I hope to top deck a Welder. Nope, did not do that. But... Might be able to pull it off still. Nope. Hmm. With that, I think I just... I think I just how. It's not what I wanted. No use putting up a second... Incineroar right now. They're not really attacking. I think they're going to get this one. And I'm going to want to go after the next. I'm going to want to go after the next. Uh, I'm going to want to find the other Mewtwo. That's, that's basically where we're at on this. By putting that fire energy down on Turtonator, we can just retreat Salazzle with any other energy. Man, that's unfortunate. Just the one Salazzle is not enough digging to get exactly what you're looking for. But the double Salazzle is too much. Sometimes. 
And they flip tails. We can knock this out with one energy. And see if they can come back. Um, it's putting Welder back really help right now. I think I go ahead and how. That way I have the fisherman. So it's two turns away to be able to pull it off. And I can save that for next turn. I might go ahead and throw it on this because it can attack for the psychic energy. And we can throw Welder back on the top of the deck. But I'd rather see what we randomly get, I guess. So I know next turn we can draw for that. So... We're going to Explosive Jet here for one Fire Energy. And knock out the Rapidash that's been wrecking our team. Get a Switch, that's a very nice card to get here. Because depending on what they throw out, we can kind of choose what we want to throw out there. So they're choosing a Farfetch now, it can retreat. So they don't have the Nido Queen. If they get the Nido Queen and a Fire Energy, they're gonna definitely, they might not attack with that. They have no evolutions down. That just doesn't do the damage without the evolutions down. So I don't know how they're bricking so hard. They've gone through a lot of their deck and they're bricking very hard. All right, cool. So here's another knockout for us. As long as we get a fire energy off of the um, fisherman. Which I'm fine with. Go ahead and grab four fires off of that. Throw down the Mewtwo to put a welder back on the top of the deck. One fire is enough again. And I would put down Darmanitan, but the fact that Flop can hit for 50 with different kinds of energy is what I'm going to end up going for here. And we will just Explosive Jet throw away one energy again for that knockout. So see how that Strong Cheer really can come into effect here. Once you get kind of set up here, your Mewtwo brings back your Welders, your Welders power up your Turtonators. And that's kind of how this deck's trying to work out. And if they don't evolve, then they can't really do anything to Turtonator here. So they finally got an evolution, a couple of them to be, in fact. And uh, they're still waiting on that Needle Queen now. So once they do get the Needle Queen, they will be like perfectly set up. Needle Queen, Rapidash, hit for 200 is what they're trying to do here. Um, I think they're just trying to collect until that point, though. And they're going to be trying for the last three prizes with that. They're going to end up having to take out two Turtonators and something else. Um, not sure what hits the hardest. Maybe this hits the hardest, but he can hit for weakness. So we do have that Welder now. We can kind of power up whatever we want. Um, but I honestly think I'm probably... Oh, I just messed up there, though. Um, well, not entirely. I can kind of save the Tartanators here by powering up Mewtwo. And, like, well, they have enough to knock out both. It's 50 plus 10, so they have enough to knock out Tartanator and Mewtwo. But right now, it looks like I'm going to have to... Crap. By attaching that Psychic, I did that prematurely. Now I have to Welder onto the active. 
and I'm down to three cards as well so that's another problem which means I, I have to take a knockout these next three turns and not draw anything else well I do have Cynthia so I, I can throw Cynthia and get a full deck again So they have the Charizard finally, which sucks because they're going to take out this guy and then I can swing back with Turtonator, but I'm going to turn behind because of that Psychic Attachment. Although maybe I can... So they hit for 130, so they can knock this out and make me have to hit 150 to knock them out. Now I don't have anything that hits 150 easily. So I'm going to have to go in with the other Turtonator. They're going to swing on that Turtonator. And I think they're ahead in the prizes. So I kind of have to clear their board and leave them with nothing left. Which is going to be kind of hard at this point considering they get their second second Nita Arena. They're going to get their second Nita Queen if they have it not in the prizes this next turn. And I'm just kind of down in energy. But I can still... Flame charge for forty. Hmm. Need a queen's powered up now. Luckily, I think it hits for one ten right now, right? Yeah, it hits for one ten right now, so it's perfect math to knock out a turtonator. And I think I've used. I've only had that one welder so far, so the other welder is clearly prized. So yeah, see they're making me have to go in with Turtonator to knock it out. Nothing else can hit for that hard. This one hits for 120. This hits for uh, 100. So we have to go into Turtonator. We have to do this and go ahead and grab Fire Energies out of the discard. Um, we could switch, but there's no reason to. And throw Salanda down. I'm just trying to think what's the best thing to throw down here. Because we're going to get this knock knockout. They're going to get that knockout. Kind of went through both of our Mewtwo's. Go ahead and throw a Litten down here. We're going to have to Explosive Jet here. And just go for the knockout. The 130 was not enough. There's our other Welder. We might still be in this game now. Because we can weld our two fires on to Mewtwo. And kind of catch up that way. Really, they're going to try to go into another Charizard. They're saying, you don't have the knockout. But if they do that, they're putting damage on themselves. And I think I can hit the knockout. Problem is, if I Welder, I lose the capability of using Welder. So this next turn, if they, they have to, I have to let them get a Charizard here and knock out the Charizard with a Incineroar. Queen's call. What is the Queen calling? A Charizard. Okay. Evolution. So they just, they just have it here. All it takes is... Uh, actually, I don't know. I think they have it because they can evolve either one of these next turn. Pretty definite they have it. I'll give them the well played. Because I missed the A. I missed when I could. That psychic attachment was definitely a misplay. I needed to keep it simple just to keep attaching to Turtonators and taking the knockouts. Uh, here we do this. 
throw a fire energy on it. And we Cynthia this turn because we are down to one singular card. But I think we throw, what, the Turtonator down? Or, I mean, the Toy Cat down first? We throw down the Toy Cat. And we, uh, Cynthia. So that we don't run out of cards. But still get plenty back. I can still attack next turn. Granted, we probably won't be attacking next turn. And flamethrower. Oh, I could have swore that was enough damage. I miscalculated then. I miscalculated then. Um, I think they're going to have to give it to me so they can just take it, though. They have to have a Charmeleon and a... I don't think they have a Rapidash. But all they need is Charmeleon. They've got to have another Charmeleon that they can take that knockout with. They just blow this up, attack with this, and they got 50, um, yeah, 50, 100, 150, 160. Perfect math to be able to take out the Incineroar. Really? They're going to Cynthia as well. What are they trying to pull here? Hmm. See, I don't think they have the switch. They have one switch, so that's what they were searching for was the switch. So they didn't have to take the knockout, but considering they haven't played it yet, I don't think they got it. So they're debating whether or not they want to Roy and Resolve, knock it out, leave me with one prize to come in they're just unsure about their math maybe or maybe they just they're maybe they're charmeleon surprised so they did roaring resolve to give me that knockout um they should be able to come in with needle queen here and just take the knockout why would you choose the you don't have to choose energy dude and as long as he has the charmeleon he has the knockout Does he have the Charmeleon? Come on, Queen's Call. You don't have the Charmeleon? Really? No Charmeleon? That's very intriguing. Oh, I don't get the Welder either, though. I don't get the Welder. So I can switch, but it's not going to do me any good. Because I missed the welder. This is why I probably should have threw down this guy a while back. I can hit for 120, but I can't take the knockout. Unfortunate. I guess I just give him the... Uh, the Daruma. Either that or... Maybe I do this. And say, do it again. There's still a tiny chance I can win this. Tiny, tiny chance. I literally just have to get top deck welder. With these two, I have a chance. Well, these, these three cards. I have a chance. I just need top deck welder. And then I can get it. Ah, very well. Very good. Very good. The Kikui. To prove that they have the 160. Because they have the one. No, they only hit 110. They're only hitting 130. They need this evolution. Five cards, dude. You don't have the evolution? How? How? Really? No evolution? Oh my goodness. Uh, and that's all I needed. Psy shock for two hundred damage. Should not have won that. Should not have won that. 
That was definitely not my game to win. <laughs> but I won it, so fun. Uh, sometimes games just go that way. That's very unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, they had plenty, I gave them plenty of chances. They really should have had it. Uh, just the cards chose me. Granted, I was I was probably shy there at the end to be able to actually take it had I not top decked that welder. I did have three more cards I could have dug, but that's not guaranteeing anything. And I think we're finally facing the Necrozma deck. No, I don't want to go first. I want to draw cards. And you guys set up way too fast anyways. So we're going to start with the Litten this time. Get that Catter Day quickly. Draw one card, which is a little less than the two cards from the Meowth, but it is what it is. And we do still get at least a card. And, uh... You will toss down Daruma. I love this little guy. And they get the perfect start. First contact, three basics down, but this is why it's good that I chose to go second, because if I ch chose to go first, first contact would have really put me at a disadvantage. Granted, it looks like I'm already at a disadvantage with five energy cards out of the first seven in my deck. It's a lot of energies, and there's only five psychic energy in the deck. So, that's a lot of psychic energy to hit suddenly. But here they go, they're gonna get their Necrozma, a Malamar, or an Inke, and an, maybe another Inke. They might do something else, but it's hard to tell exactly what they're planning. Let's see if the Battle Mine can take on the, uh, what is the name of that one? I swear I have the box around here somewhere, so I should know. But I don't know off the top of my head what it is. Yeah, I have a lot of boxes around here. To evolve or not to evolve, that is the question. Is this thing likely to retreat anytime soon? Nothing's really powered up for an attack. They might do a quick blow for a swift knockout. But other than that, I don't see anything happening. I guess let's go for the burn. We can go for the burn here. Gleese get 40 damage on the mess spirit. Man, those are always heads. Burn flips are always heads, I swear. The PTC Geo does just not like burn. So they get that Malamar right away. And they actually choose Young Goose because that Young Goose, because this Gumshoe is alert headbutt, does 90 damage to everything that is in theme deck format. So it's super good. And they already have the weakness guard energy on Necrozma. I'm really surprised that. And the Crossman was sold with the Weakness Guard energy instead of like another energy type, but I can't believe I'm only drawing energy right now either. At least I have enough energy for a Turtonator to attack. That's one thing I can say. <laughs> wow. This deck on the bricks today. On the bricks right now, I should say, not the today. So we did get a two win streak, but Necrozma's here to clean us up, sweep us under the rug, and try to take over as the top psychic box deck. I'm a little surprised they threw Gumshoes up there though, with him not having enough energy on him. I don't know what they're, they're trying to accomplish with that. But I'm definitely going to keep Torcat up here attacking until Necrozma comes out and attacks. Ah, that's what they're doing. The U-turn board. So they're going to bury our attack here. Which gets us close, but not to death just yet. Now we can kind of swing back here. 
Discard a psychic energy. Now, I mean, part of me, we could have attached a fire energy and then took the knockout. No, well, not yet. Could we? This lowered it by 30, didn't it? Yeah. So I still only would have hit for 150. That's unfortunate. They hit me with the spatial laser. They only have 40 HP now. So I can take this out and that's their main attacker. I'm not fishermaning yet. I can hit for 50, right? Yes. So I can just hit for 50 and that should be enough. Yes. Cool. Necrozma, down. That's their first attacker. Right? That's what makes this deck kind of so strong that I'm facing because they have a stage one support with a basic attacker. That's just a really hard thing to fight against um, when you have stage twos in your deck. Then I don't know why Incineroar showed up first today, but he did. Ouch, that hurt. And to be honest, that's probably the game. Um, I have nothing to return KO with at all. I didn't even know they had Silvalli out, but pretty sure that's the game. Not much I can do now. Um, I have a lonely Daruma up here. Um, and my only support is a Fisher Man. A handful of eight energies. So I guess we... Yeah, we're gonna have to catter day next turn. Thin out the deck. That's what's in the deck. That's not what's showing that it's in the deck. I still have 10 more energy. That's craziness. 10 of these cards are still energy. Still a quarter of the deck, and that's the quarter I'm drawing. There goes that little guy. And they can just kind of keep doing this. <laughs> oh, I wish I could show my hand to my opponent. But with that, I made that Steam Dex for you. That right there. His theme decks for you, everybody. Um, you win some, you lose some. But uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to see much of the Necrozma deck, but you kind of got the gist of it that, you know, they load up energies and just swing hard at you. They have a simple 120 attacker and a 160 attacker. Just the perfect numbers to knock out everything else in the theme deck format. Um, but with that, I think that's as good a point as any to go ahead and take our mind off of the battle and go ahead and uh, put this chapter to a close. Um, I do want to thank everybody so much for stopping by today. Um, I guess we could look at this a little bit on like how you might improve it. Um, honestly, your, uh, your welder is going to be your best friend here. Um, if you want to up your welders, that's what I would honestly do in this deck. Probably take out these other guys and go with like communications because you have so many uh, Pokemon. So you get Pokemon communications, which is a very strong card. Um, and that way you can find the exact Pokemon you're looking for rather than like whatever's showing up. Um, a lot of people will even get rid of the lily and stuff like that. They'll get this powerful uh, effect. Uh, what is it? Counter catcher? Not counter catcher. Custom. I get them confused. But uh, custom catcher is a card that a lot of people are using. They're waiting for. Uh, they used to have Guzma in the format, which switched the bench Pokemon to the active. This allows you to chase KOs and take out exactly what you're looking to take out. 
Um, with this one, if you play two, you can, it's called a gust effect. You can gust something into the active. If you don't play two, you can at least draw three cards. So it can kind of get you out of a dead hand or also uh, just do good stuff for you. Um, the other option here is instead of fisherman, go ahead and throw Broxen. Uh, Brox allows you, it's not strong in every deck, but an effect that we used to have was Rescue Stretcher, and it can kind of play a little bit to that. Um, actually, let's keep five. Uh, like I said, 10 to three is probably more general of what you're gonna find here. And then um, something that's good for specific fire is fire crystal which is kind of like Brox and kind of like fisherman but gives you three fire energy and it's an item card and you can play as many item cards as you want um so actually that's probably a better use of that and then you also have like a good stadium like giant hearth to be able to get fire energies out of your deck to play welder more frequently and uh there's a beautiful full art welder if you guys are wondering um heat factory is another good stadium because you can discard a fire energy and get it back and then uh to get fire energies into your hand fiery flint from dragon's majesty is another good fire card um to help you kind of round out your deck here um as for pokemon attackers i just searched fire basics um because that's going to be what's helped you the best honestly he trans not the best attacker but has proven himself to be very good like i said before Darmanitan uh, is a little bit slower because it's a stage one. Volcanion does something very similar and is a basic. Yeah, I only have one. Otherwise, I would add more. Um, it's questionable whether or not you want Turtonator in your or not Turtonator, uh, Incineroar in your deck. That 30 damage is strong, but it is hard to set up. It, a quicker way would be using the item rare candy, but that's not always very fast either. Um, but with Welder, you can kind of pick whatever is your favorite fire type that hits hard. And you can kind of go from there. Um, like Entei is a very good one. Can hit for 140 if you discard a fire energy uh, from the top of your deck. You deck. V Beatdown is kind of cool. It does 20 damage for each of your basic Pokemon in play. So if you have um, 6 basic Pokemon, it does 120 for 2 energies. They can power up with one uh, welder. You got things like Blacephalon, which is mind blown. Does Turtonator's attack for two energy rather than three energy, but you lose your fire energy to the lost zone. Um, you have things like Victini, does it damage based off the amount of energies in your discard pile. Uh, and that's any energy, that's not specific fire energy, but it attacks with fire energy. You have, uh, he hits a little weak. He obviously needs, probably would need Incineroar for that extra damage boost. Scorching Flame does 110. Um, but these are kind of the weak ones. Like, I don't even have the good ones. The good ones are like Reshiram Charizard. Um, the big things that hit for big numbers. There's also non-fire types that can make use of uh, the Welder effect. You have, uh, basically, this is an example, but anything that is can attack for colorless energy can use those fire energies so like that's a good thing if you find something in the basic category or something that attacks for colorless energy you can kind of throw that into a deck with with welder and kind of make it your own thing one of the mo most well-known ones is probably the ev snorlax wherever this is wherever that is i should say thought i had a promo of it but i guess i do not like one thing I like is where'd it go? I lost it already. My cut was kind of cool, but you need different types of basic energies. You got Mel Tank, which hits 60 times the amount of Moo Moo Milk, which is an item card. So if you can able to use greens to get your Moo Moo Milk out, you can attack with that. You got Dump Truck Press, which does 242 Evolution Pokemon, which is anything that's not a tag team at this point. But Ditto's also very great. Because if your opponent's attacking with uh, all the fire energy, then you can attack with all the fire energy. Well, thank you so much for the follow. 
Pyro Swishy, how are you doing tonight? But yeah, there's lots of basics that can attack with it as well. Um, and you just pick your favorites and kind of go with it. But with that, we are going to end the video portion of this uh, right now. Uh, I do want to thank everybody so much for stopping by the video, checking out the YouTube. And uh, I will bid you guys a Lola, and I will see you guys on the next video soon.